Information overload. I'm Malin and we have a lot of information in our current society, you know, on this online kind of world, we're so much more connected, we have so much more info than ever, but we have too much and so much of it is kind of contradicting, you know, one expert says this thing and another kind of says another thing and it's kind of hard to find, you know, well, which one, which one's the right answer, you know. And even in one small field, like for example, just with Andrew Huberman, there's so many different protocols and all these different things to worry about. It's like, well, what do I worry about? There's all these things for my circadian rhythm. There's all these different ways to work out. There's all these different ways to kind of learn and that sort of thing. And I think the important thing with this is that you kind of distill it down and you gain direct experience with something and you find specific things that you actually like enjoying. And I've found that that's what's helped for me because you can, I find I can easily get stuck in like a rabbit hole of just um, watching all this kind of content and trying to get all this information and trying to find like this perfect or this right answer. And you find like the more that you get information, the more you realize, well, there's not really a perfect answer. And that's because everyone kind of has their own different needs, their wants, their own desires and experiences. And so the right answer for that person may not be the right answer for me. The right answer for you may not be the right answer for me. And so that's where you kind of got to be wary of these things and be wary, wary of yourself because it's easy to get sucked into these, um, all these different ideas, you know, and some people like are telling this is the one way to do it or this is the one way to get this, this is the one way to get rich, this is the one way to build muscle. and. This grabs attention because when you're telling someone with such conviction that this is the way, that this is the right information, you know, it drags people in and it pulls them in and they're like, oh, this person's confident, they have the results, so they must know the way. And then, for example, with working out, you actually find out that these people are actually like taking testosterone, uh, taking um, steroids and that sort of thing. So they're being enhanced. And then it kind of creates this like mistrust, like, how did they actually get this? You know, they don't look that natural. And, you know, it kind of all becomes shady. And then it's like, who do you trust? And I think that's the problem with social media. It's hard to tell when people are actually being genuine and portraying themselves as they are. And with all these like different information things, you know, there's these kind of trends that rise up and then they come for a while and then they fade. But all of these trends, some of them may have some truth to them, but generally I try to stay away from them because I find when I get sucked into them, it's just this emotional kind of charge that it has to it. And it's just like this short kind of burst that doesn't really last, you know, like the things that actually work are quite simple and you probably already know what to do, or you probably have a good idea of what you want to do or what you should be doing. And if not, then you just need to gain experience. And then through that, you'll kind of gain this intuition and this better sense of what works for you and what you actually enjoy. It's easy to get bogged down in like this, all this information that's always out there, you know, all these like different opinions, but the opinion that matters the most is yours because you are living your own life and you should be the dictator for that. You should be curating this kind of information that you're intaking because if you're not wary of this, if you're not you know, conscious that you're being overloaded with all this information, that some of it's con contradicting and some of it's not sitting right with you, then you need to actually put some of it into experience and kind of find out, is this true for me or is this not true for me? And I've found this like beneficial because I've spent so much time trying to study things, you know, like things with passion, purpose, um, working out, music, soccer you know i've done so many i've watched so many hours of videos on this and yeah i've learned some good information from it but probably the best lessons that i've learned is from direct experience and actually doing things and going out there and actually learning because i could watch all of the soccer videos that i wanted to i could watch all these training videos i could even do some of it myself but until i actually took that step into a semi-professional kind of environment i didn't realize that that wasn't really what I wanted. And that really isn't how I want my life to be, you know, working for this, for someone else, you know, I, and that kind of made me realize like, oh, I also don't really like working in cafes and I've kind of just been accepting this because I thought that's what I have to do to earn money. 
and I haven't been experimenting in these other ideas. And then there's also this thing with like trying to earn money online and there's all of these different ways and all these different businesses and these get rich quick kind of schemes, drop shipping, all this stuff. And I realized that none of those things really meant much to me because I love depth, I love philosophy, I love really delving into things and asking why. And I'm really interested in things like meaning, purpose and creativity and these sorts of things. And with information overload, it's hard to hear your own voice. You know, it's hard to hear what you want. It's hard to um, accept yourself as well when you're having all these other expectations and ideas brought on by other people. And it become a really cloudy if you don't focus and you don't learn to kind of process that information and distill it and actually use your own experience and develop your own ideas and strategies. So that's just what I want to talk about today, this kind of information overload. Thank you for watching if you did, and I'll see you in the next video.